I'm now going to make the Jenny Gammy Love Arch. I've got a few different samples here. These two have been cut out quite small and quite intricately and attached to the invites and save the dates for a wedding card. This one's been cut similar size to on the CD. It's not intricate at all. I've just actually rubber stamped all of the sections on here to give it a bit of a design. This is the colourway that comes on the CD that you'll be able to, to do yourself. Now like all the designs, it's a 3D object but then it just folds perfectly flat for you to send it to somebody and I'll show you at the end the best way to attach it to a card. I like the idea of just keeping this one as a simple silhouette of the couple. I thought that looked quite, quite smart. There's lots of parts to this but it is quite simple to put together. The first part is the part with the love hearts at the bottom which you could put the word love on or this one I've put little beaded love hearts on so you can choose what you want to do yourself. The next one is two topiary trees that just sit behind that and then you get the part with the actual silhouette of the wedding couple. You then have the arch sections and you start with the largest part of the arch and move backwards to the smallest part so you need to get them together in the right order so that you go from the largest to the smallest. Then you have all your right sections in the right order. What you then have is you have strengthening bars that go at the front and the back of this but I don't need to worry about them right at this minute. And then we have three small sections with loads of slots in them. One of these is going to go right the way along the centre here and then the other two are going to go either side. So I'm going to start with the centre one and I'm just going to slot all of these parts into this section here in the right order of course. I know I'm doing this upside down but oops, I kind of just find this the easiest way to work with this design. You're just slotting all of these parts into that shorter section in the right order. I'm trying to keep hold of them all at one end at the same time so they don't all pop back out again. Now as I'm adding more and more I'm actually getting the design flatter and flatter because it is far easier to work with when you keep it flat because there's so many pieces to hold together. So I've now got that joined right the way along the middle. What I'm going to do is add the strengthening bars at the front slot that's left from that wee bar. and the back slot that's left from that wee bar. Now as you can see on this design I've only actually cut out the front colour of the template. I haven't cut out and coloured the back but I think that actually works fine for this particular design. Now we now have a whole load of slots either end and what we need to do is to weave these in and out of these slots. Now this is where I do actually think it is a lot easier to do holding it flat like this. I just weave up the first one and now it's quite handy to have nails here if you haven't got more than one set of hands just to weave it into all the different sections. Actually I'm going to do the other side first because I think it's easier to see on the white than on the colours. idea of what I'm doing but I'm just weaving that short bar in and out all of the ones at the ends here and I'm well aware that my cats are having a carry on on the floor right underneath me which is a little bit off putting at the same time although nowhere near as bad as if I was having to do this live on telly which I'm glad I'm not I think you will all know yourselves by now that these are easy enough to do if you can concentrate and if nobody's watching you. I'm nearly there now. I've got the last two to weave in. I 
and it's always the last piece that causes the trouble. Come on. That's it. Right. So I now have the middle section and the end section weaved together. Oh, now I've got the other end to go. Take this again and I'm going to weave it right the way along these sections. This might be a good time for you to make a cup of tea and come back to me. Hopefully you can still get the idea of what I'm doing here and the fact that it isn't difficult, it's just fiddly because there's a lot of parts to make this look impressive when you stand it up. explain to you about attaching it to a card. Yep, last one to go. There we go. Oh, I'm just gonna topiary trees uncut. And here we have a black silhouette design. Now because I've been moving all the paper we can see it bends a little bit. I would just straighten that out. So it looks a bit smarter and there we have the love arch now to attach this one to a card like these ones here go to the back and these three tiny little tabs that are sticking out you would just fold them flat and crease them and then attach a bit of double sided tape along the back bar here so that this bar lies totally flat and you can attach it to your card but your design will still fold perfectly flat and open up when somebody lifts the card.